Mark here and I'm back at the set of House on Ghost Hill Road. We're here to catch up with uh, producers Doug and Ted. We're on day five of shooting and so let's get the inside scoop. Morning guys. Morning. Bright and early morning it is. Welcome back. We had a nice long day of shooting yesterday. Excellent. Did very well. Got a lot of uh, a lot of good heavy acting in yesterday. Yeah. We thought, it, we thought it might be easier, but it was actually harder than it's going to be today. <laughs> we're, we're shooting a couple different different styles of doing things, and sometimes we have to get a lot more coverage, and yesterday we had to get a lot more coverage, but I think we, we got a lot of good shots in, so it, it, uh, I think it's going to work out well. And the actors did great, too. And it, it, wasn't, you know, it wasn't as bad as some of the other weekends as far as heat-wise. It's cooled down a little bit. Today it's even a little cooler, so it wasn't too bad, but by the end of the day I could tell everybody was... We were. I, I was contemplating doing a couple more pages, and then I, Doug and I were talking. Like, no, let's just <laughs> we're st done. stop. Now you mentioned uh, you're doing a couple different styles of shooting. Can you elaborate a little? I don't want to get that? too detailed, but we're we're doing traditional style, but we're also incorporating some of the aspects of um, the uh, you know the, the 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 idea of ghost hunters coming to the house. There's a certain style that's associated with live shooting we're not exactly doing a live shooting style but we're going towards that a bit just to give the audience the feel of being on a live being part of a crew actually so um, yeah it was definitely because the tales told in different time periods mm -hmm. so it, as we're telling the tale that we shot yesterday is in 1983 we're doing more of a traditional film shoot where it's you know tripoded camera wide shot reaction shot facial shots people talking, you know, just the traditional things you would see in film made in the 80s, and then because of the modern day ghost hunters in the house, in the part that you're in, as you're very well aware with ghost hunting, mm -hmm. it's kind of a running gun. You're going and you're shooting and you're not going for the headshots, you're going for the action and keeping keeping pace with what's happening. So I think I think we want to break the, the separation up in time of the house. But the house looks a little different in each period as well as the style of our shooting. I think it kind of helps you stay grounded in the story. Awesome. Yeah, there's a few different aspects of our cinematography that are, I think, going to make the film unique, not only in its story, which we have, but also just some of the, the, the ways that we're shooting it and the way that the story's relating, the way that we're doing uh, some of our special effects. Um, I'm not say, gonna say that you've never seen it before, but I think it, the way that we're, the combination, the way we're putting together, I think it'd be really unique and give us a, a leg up in some respects on, on other films in the same genre. Awesome. So I think it'll set us apart. But I think it'll keep the interest up. I think, you know, you, you'll get settled into, oh, it's going to be like this, and you're like, oh, now it's like this. It's not like, you know, you, get, you can sit down and relax. It's like you want that uneasy feeling that like, oh, this changed, and now this changed, and you want people to stay kind of up on it and not kind of relax for the ride. Awesome. Now, so I understand there was a character change. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. An actor change. Yeah, an, an actor, actor change. change. Yeah. The character's the same. The part now will be played by <laughs> Dominique Lazaro. Um, yeah, Heather, unfortunately, who was in Demon Messenger, had uh, signed up to be play a part of Autumn Fury in this, and uh, she had some work commitments change, and uh, so we had to uh, a last minute replacement. Dominique, who was I've known her for a long time. We've been went to uh, uh, we've been in school together and acting classes and stuff from really early on she's uh, been a scene partner and stuff with me I'm an actor as well and uh, she's an amazing actor and she really uh, got up jumped, to speed in a week and jumped, jumped right in awesome. Awesome. the actors chemistry together is really good just right from the get go so cool it's great so what's on the schedule for today today we have some of the ghost hunters uh, modern day uh, checking around in the basement and uh, going upstairs well, cool well, thanks for the update, guys. Anything you want to add real quick? Or? No problem. Check out Demon Messenger at IamHorror.com. As now well streaming. as check out the updates on I Am Horror. And um, you can also donate to the film, road. correct? Still donate yeah, to the film? Yeah, still donate. We still need money. <laughs> Go For Ghost Hill Road, you can see that on I Am Horror, too. Or you can probably see stuff through Horror Punks, too. Awesome. Well, thanks for time, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, sir. Thanks. There you go. All right, I am back in the house. Um, uh, when we did the tour, I actually didn't get a chance to show the full basement, but they've got it all cleaned up, and uh, let's go check it out. This is where, quote unquote, this is where some of the horror happens down here. Cobwebs in my hair, and this is 
where they will be shooting today for Brian. Oh, there's the, uh, you can't really see it down there, but uh, let's see if I can get a light on there for you. I'll come back to that. But this is the basement. Kind of creepy looking down here. Very creepy looking down here. for a second. Alright, now this is the root cellar down here. I don't know if you can see it. The light. I don't know if it's good enough, but man, that is creepy down there. It is dark and creepy. And these are the steps going down to the darkness. There you go. And there you have it. Quick little look at the basement. And this leads back up to the side of the house. Here we go. Boom. Choo, choo, choo. Bam. And here we are. Out like a lake trout. The makeup crew just got here, rolling in and loading and setting up their gear. Looking all cheerful and smiley first thing in the morning. <laughs> Did your phone Mine doesn't. No, I don't have one. Ooh, all sorts of goodies in there. What's going on there? We've got the film crew setting up their gear, getting things ready. Cast is rolling in. I thought we were doing dreads. The well, corn, the yeah, corn, row, corn row dreads? Yeah, we're doing like cornrows here. Okay. And then it's going to fade into a perm. Nice. And then go down in dreads in the ends. And I'm thinking sexy. we'll like bleach them out and dye them like pink. Cool. What do you think? Bleach dreads, nice. Yeah. All right, so we are here, and we have a new member on set with us today, and you are Diana Myers. And you're gonna do? I'm helping with special effects makeup. Right, sweet. So that's all the blood and gore and all the fun stuff. Sweet. We look forward to it, and that's our little update for you. We are inside the house, and the crew is actually setting up all the scenery. So let's check it out. This would be the window covers, the lighting. Ghost hunting gear, ghost hunting gear. Serious props right there. Gotta have some clothes oh, yeah. pants. Yeah. Out here to cover up the windows. It's gonna be dark. Take a second. There we go. How's that? Beautiful. Now if the door shuts, looks like we'll be alright. time we spent doing this last time? You're a genius. Oh, Madeline Bush is a genius. <laughs> Child prodigy. Genius. Well, you know, I don't, we could even it up, I suppose. We'll just fold it a little. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Come from a long line of sensations. Look around for anything, any kind of clue to whatever Mr. Gray's been hiding from. Okay. Is that, that's a, is that it? Yeah. Oh, great. I'm going to be so happy to have an easier day than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday was pretty grueling for you, huh? It's just, it, no, it went really. Yeah. But, you know, there, there's, I guess, you know, there's a drill press and some other things back there. Just be aware of stuff. Of course. But, uh, you know, don't scrape yourself on things. And of course, watch your head and. Oh, uh, see, like, you know, like here, the nail sticking out, just... Okay, basements are inherently creepy, aren't they? See, yeah. yeah. check. I see low head, I mean, you guys are a little shorter than me, so you don't have to worry about as much, but low head room here. Yeah, this goes right to the outside here. So, because we're going to knock out, I think, all, I guess all the, I'm not really sure if that's the greatest idea, but I guess we're going to knock out all the lights except the LEDs on the camera and then the LEDs you guys have. Well, let's yeah. Yeah, see how it looks right now if we want. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just worried about the light changing when you have it on the camera. Like, everywhere you sweep when you're turning, the lights are going to be moving. It'll be cool, though. It's like the shows are. Sure. 
You know what I mean? It's. I guess I just worried about the audience figuring out that there's that extra. He's the invisible, invisible cameraman. You right. Know? Well, they're gonna have camera equipment. And they're right? gonna have camera equipment, and they're gonna have their lights yeah. on, right? Their clicky lights. Yeah. So yeah. So there should be light shining fun. all over the place. Actually. Yeah, that'll be fine. So, but we're gonna. Uh, we have that one clipped up. That's the one we're gonna have, right? Great. Uh, maybe. Uh, we'll, I think we I'm, can shoot without it. Actually. He's, oh, okay. We get four hundred still. With, yeah, okay. I got. So guys, the uh, the thing I was telling them from the start, uh, Doug and Sam and everybody, uh, first lines, Max, Max, where are you around the corner there? Max, are you down here? Yeah, and um, uh, where are you guys going to be positioned? Like, right where you are. You, Doug here, and Sam will be right there. Sam will be right next to you. Mm -hmm. So you guys will probably pass him by. Was the order that they were coming down the stairs? Do you guys remember? Him, Tony, Mason, Tony, him. Him. Yeah, oh, okay. Tony, Denise. Yep. So, um, who are we gonna have them pass by? Mm-hmm. And then come over here. And in this kind of area where it's bigger, where they can have a conversation. Okay. And he can talk to the camera here. You know, because he has that thing where he talks to the camera when they get down here. They talk a little bit, and then he actually has a, a camera piece. So if Brian's here. Tony's here, and Denise is here to the side. They're all kind of face cheated to this way. Yeah. He's Profile, he's there. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we want to get the equipment and walk through? Do you want to walk through without the equipment and come up or what? Uh, Either way. I mean, I, I won't turn it on, but I'd like to kind of get an idea where I'm going to be moving. He means their ghost hunting equipment, right? I'm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. their oh, their, oh, ghost, oh, their ghost hunting equipment. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we just do a slow walk through? Yes. Yeah, so you mean you want to grab a slow stuff? motion walk through for? Or should we grab their equipment though? Yeah, they can because they're going to be up. They have to be upstairs anyhow. So why don't they just go up and? Equipment up and start from the okay. stairs, and we'll we'll be down here. Do you guys here. know what you need to get? Everything's all set up for. Everything set up for. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We went and matched. You know, over here, over there. You could just say, <laughs> "This is Riley." When he knows, when he hears a voice, he's going to turn to it. Mm -hmm. So, so that's that's with everybody. Whenever we do this, Spencer will know to catch up, and you you know and he will. So just you know, just start talking, and he'll follow you. Um, and so that won't be it won't be a big problem if there's a little bit of a lag just you know like i said you can say this is riley and jason and spencer and you can indicate too is what i'm what i'm saying too you can if you guys ever want to do if you're talking about the person you could say you know da, da, da. And, and that because you see that on the shows too because you, you you know you don't you they repeat that kind of stuff because you don't know when a person's going to tune in because yeah. mm. you could say this is Jason in the beginning, but you see them doing that almost in every room. Mm -hmm. This is Jason Riley and da 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 because probably for a show they're going to repeat that over and over again. Make sense? So, but that's great. That's great. So then you do your line. You just search, is there anyone down here with us? Should we have them move in this? I'm just thinking. Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we start um, having you guys? Do you hold it for a second? Why don't we have you guys, um, your line go, you, you have your line, and then you say, is there anyone down here with us? Why don't we have you start, um, do you have a meter in your hand, right? Is there anyone down here with us? Is there anyone down here with us? Um, and you start having EMF rising steady, 2.3, 2.8. No, you, you stay here. And then we'll have, your Riley is near next line. Is um, because I just want this like cool like wh not whipping but motion yeah. back and forth. Right, right, right. And then we got Riley. If you can hear us, this device will hear Riley. You can go this way. If you can, this device you can hear us. You can this way, and then the camera will be able to come back to you this way. Okay. So we've got this nice whipping back and forth with the camera. We want this. We're a, we're doing a horror movie. So we almost, want some confusing so swishes. My, my uh. My mark's almost right in the middle. Yeah. It's going from person to person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool, great. cool. And then, so we got Riley and then Spencer back. So we'll just have a back and forth here for a little bit. And you guys could even creep farther. I think you can still catch them, right, if they creep farther this way. But once you get to the table over here, you need to you need to rotate a bit so the camera. And I think it just makes sense because you're going, uh... Da, da, da. And hit the, his camera's back there, anyways. Spence's, Spence's camera. Mm -hmm. 
So what I think too that you could do, Spence, is you could creep up, you could start creeping up behind Jason. So then if there's a certain point where Jason comes back here, maybe he can end up back here and we can get both of you back in camera again. Where you can you can go creep up to there and then creep back out to where to where Spence is. Almost even follow. Maybe catch him over here on the other side. Yeah, like maybe after one of one of Riley's lines here, you can come right up next to him, get him. And then he can end up coming back. And maybe Riley, you can end up coming back this way too. Yes, so it's kind of creepy behind me. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So as you got this spirit box thing, let me look at the lines again. You got your initial lines. Um, spirit box. Okay, is anyone, Jason's got, is anyone down here with us, EMF Rising, you're just starting to head that way. Um, Riley, if you can hear us, this device will let us hear you. Riley's about here. By that time, you're still still back. Um, and then, then uh, you, you got him and, oh, you, maybe you could be up to about here. And then we got to get Spence. Uh, that's why I was saying you need to creep up over there. So by that time, the Riley's got a line, and then Spence is, what the hell's that? You can catch him. And you can maybe even be where. You could, you could even be farther over that way if you wanted Come to. Come over here. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, just watch that hole. <coughs> uh, and then, no freaking idea, Jason. I'll be right there. Um, we heard you. I think it'll be nice back and forth. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard you. You can make that sound again, and then back to my name is Jason. Can you make that again? Just make sure you give you give space between. We'll probably have to do it a couple times before we get it right. But get that space in between. Like I said, take your time. You're doing a ghost hunt. That way, when you have that space in between, when you guys finish your line, that'll be a a, a, a cue for Sam to be able to rotate back to people. So, um, we go, yes. my name is Jason, can you say that? Oh, and know this too, I'm, I'm going to be saying, <clears throat> um, you know, Fury, click, click, scrape, wait, you know, wait after I say it for a second, give it that, that time, give it a little bit of time in there for you guys to, you just heard a sound, you're taking it in like, holy shit, and then you're responding to it. Got it. Um. I'm guessing that after a while, this even during this uh, box session, you guys can creep back to here and end up back at day one here at the end of the EVP session, and you're back to where you were. You're back to all. Oh, you're back to the same position because it's kind of like wander, wander, wander. You can do that back and forth. You come back to here. Whatever it is, it's gone. Okay, Spence, we want to leave you down in the basement so you can get killed by ghosts down here while we go upstairs. And then you guys, you know, get upstairs. Not quite the one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the one and I get killed again. <laughs> well, why don't we give it a try? Into the great wide open. That's a wrap for today. Day five in the toilet. How do you think everything went today, Ted? In the toilet? Not in the toilet. <laughs> in the can. Oh yeah, in the can, in the can. <laughs> can, toilet, toilet, can, you know. But well, how did everything go today? I think it went great, except the very end, I wanted to take one more shot and I almost killed everybody because the roosters kept calling uh, or whatever you call it over and over again and then there was a car, a loud car going by and somebody's four wheeler going by and then every time I was going to say action, the rooster would call again and the rooster would call. And so I finally said action and then it caught one more time and I said, God damn it, I'm going to choke that chicken. And I, everyone started cracking up. I'm sorry, sorry. You know, so let's keep going. So, well, but, awesome. But it still went great. That's cool. Actually, the take before that was really, really awesome. So we don't have to worry about it that much. <laughs> There's Doug. Ted's Rapper. choking his chicken on set again. Yep. Go figure. Choking his chicken. <laughs> well, there you have it. Until next time, we'll see you on the other side.